Oh, that's a wild assembly. Can we pick him up and bring him out? Can you make it out here? Sneak in a little bit. You very often wear gloves, I'm told. Why is that? So the stick doesn't slip out of my hand when I play. Well, you, you fellas work about as hard as anybody I've ever seen. This, this wall of sound behind you, somebody said once they went in a studio and it caused reverberations before you started playing. How long have you been playing music? Uh, as a group, you mean? Yeah. Uh, about a year. A year? Are you all from the San Francisco area? Yeah. What? How do you differentiate your style of music from anybody else's? What makes Blue Cheer different? Heavy. <laughs> heavy, man. It's a heavy sound. You work harder, too. Do you have a philosophy about working for an audience? You know, there was a time when a lot of people just uh, stood and played. Do you do anything different when you work out? Oh, it has to be visual. We like to destroy things now and then. Destroy things now and again? Yeah, break, you know, the guitars. Only if it's right there in the spot. If you really feel like doing it, you know, we just get into it heavy. So you, you don't do it as a, as a shtick. You have to feel it before yeah. you get to that point. What are your future plans? Have you, have you traveled much up and down the coast or a far away? We're so sp spread apart. Let's sneak in here and then I can pass this mic around. I've been as far as, uh, far away as Denver, but like uh, Chicago, New York, and London, they're all in there. And they're coming up soon, I hope. Look forward to seeing New York? Yeah, very, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Heard a lot about it, man. <laughs> it's one of the most unusual cities in the world. Where would you like to go if you had your, your preference of travel? Uh, Kashmir. Kashmir? Take me along when you go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> blue cheer, if you will, please. Thank you.